Pike Creek girls basketball team put together one of the greatest runs we've seen in state history. 41 straight wins, only to bow out in the state championship game to mighty Duncanville. But the Creek is back. You can make a case that Kendall Hunter and Rory Harmon are the best collection of guards on the same team in the country. And it's their last hurrah before going to Austin to be Longhorns. I know Kendall's going to give 100% every time she plays. Um, I don't think there's a lot of people that can guard her. Um, can, if you put, if you don't have your hands up guarding Kendall, she'll shoot in your face. And, <laughs> <laughs> and she'll, probably, she'll most likely make it. A quick, very, very quick guard. Who, like, ball handling skills, very great ball handling skills. Can get her teammates involved, but she can also create her own shot. And a very good on-ball defender, like, very, very good. So, honestly, I don't know what I would tell the other team, like, just pray. Pray before the game. I don't know. No, this is probably the most motivation I've had in a very long time. That, that I'm going to bring it 100%. Just thinking about it, it sounds crazy. Like, 41 games in a row. Looking back, I was like, wow, we, we really did that. So I, like, I feel so good about that. I think it has a lot to do with, like, our chemistry and our focus. So I think it was just our mentality, like, being mentally tough, mentally strong. I agree with Kendall. This year is about mental toughness and knowing that we're going to have a target on our back for every game. It gives you a sense of pride to know that you're the team that everyone wants to beat. And it just makes you push even harder because you know, like, if you let them beat you, then it's like, oh, my gosh, like, you're never going to hear the end of it. So it's really just, it's kind of fun to know that you're the best and everyone wants to be the best. I'm very excited, honestly. We're really working hard to get back to the state, and we're going to come every day to practice and put 100% effort. Since we know this is our last chance to get it done completely, and we know what it takes to get there, of course, freshman year, we were freshmen. We didn't really know. And last year, we knew. But now this year, we definitely know. Like, we know everything. We made it to the last game. So I think we're definitely more prepared. Knowing that we've they've been there already is setting a high standard and have higher expectations, expectations this year for us to be there again. I think we're just going to really use that loss to fuel us throughout the season. We try and take it game by game, but we all know in our heart, like, we're just trying to get to state. And, of course, it's about growing and enjoying senior year, but for the basketball point view of it, you know, it's about going to stay and winning. This was meant to be, and this is going to be our fourth year, and we built a lot of chemistry over these years, and I'm really excited to know that this is our last year at Creek, but we're going to continue um, to win more games at Texas. It's really kind of luck that we ended up at the same school. Like, we could have, all the schools inside fair, and we ended up, like, merging to the same school. So it's just, real. I think it was really God's plan. We weren't close at first because, you know, freshman year, we, we actually were playing against each other in middle school. So it was a little nerve wracking because there's somebody else who's really good coming to Creek at ice, like, you know. Um, but really at now, Kendall, I can really go to her off the court. I feel like she'll be able to be there for me and tell me the best thing for me. But she's really good and she has really good advice with a lot of things, so I, I appreciate that, Kendall. <laughs> I had to remember that it was a blessing. Like, you know, so many girls want to be in the position that I was in, being able to pick any school that you wanted to go to. Just knowing, like, what's best for you, it probably makes you feel better about telling the schools no, even though they were probably built really good relationships and got to know each other, but you just have to go with your gut and what's best for you. For, for us, I mean, we'll, we'll be playing, like, eight years together, and that's, that's, that's a long time, but we'll, we'll, we'll get it done. I got no worry. I know how she plays, so I know I have someone that I know, you know, to go through the freshman, you know, they say college, your freshman year of college is going to be tough, so I'm like, at least I have Rory. I have somebody there with me. That's, that's probably, that's going to be a good feeling to know that we have each other's backs. I don't even, I, have we ever played one-on-one? No, we've never really played one-on-one. -on -one. We're both so competitive. I'm like, oh, gosh, I don't know how that game would go. Like, maybe five on five, two on two, but we never actually played one-on-one. -on -one. And yes, it, that would be an honor to be, uh, be Kimmel in one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe we should set that up, Kimmel. <laughs> okay, now, it's fair game. I don't want to hear anything about nothing. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> You know, when they talk about Side Creek Girls basketball, like, I know that me and Rory's name is going to come up. And I think that the way that um, the Side Creek community supports us 
it makes it all worthwhile. Just knowing that I can bring, make my school proud, it's, it's good. I like seeing Side Creek shirts everywhere, Side Creek girls basketball, and that makes me feel good and knowing that they have that confidence in us.